welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over what are Japanese candlesticks. The best way to describe is by using a picture so you guys can actually see the actual candlesticks and what they really mean. Here on the left hand side, we have the bullish candle or buy candle. All right, most um, traders you hear they say bullish, bearish. Uh, if you are a newbie, um, the bullish mean buy and bearish mean sell. Now here on the left hand side with the, the green candlestick is our buy candle. Now with our buy candle, this is our upper shadow or most people will say wick, which I usually use wick. <laughs> um, whatever uh, trader you use, it means the same thing. The high, this is the highest the price came. This is the close of the candle. This is the lowest the candle, the, the price came. This is the open. So for the buy candle, this is the open. This is the close. This is the highest the price went. And this is the lowest the price went. Okay. Now here on the right hand side, we got the bearish candle, candle or the sell candle. This is our body. This is our open of the candle. This is the candle where it opened. This is the highest the price went. This is our body. This is the close of our candle. And this is the lowest of, a, of our candle. Okay. Japanese candlesticks are be, can be used for any time frame. Whether it be one day, one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes. Whatever time frame you are trading, they are used to describe the price action during the given time frame. Japanese candlesticks are formed using the open, high, and low, just like we described here. Okay. They are used, we use the open, close, the high, and the low of the chosen time frame. So whatever time frame you are you are trading, like I said, whether it's 15, 30 hour daily, you're going to use the candlesticks to confirm on that given time frame when it opens and when it closes. Okay, let's go take a look at some single candlestick patterns. All right, here in the left hand side we have the bullish or the buy candles. And here on the right hand side, we have the bearish or the sell candles. Here on the left hand side, if you see any of these candlesticks at the bottom of your chart, you're going to look for a reversal of the trend. All right. Now, if you see these at the, at the bottom of your trend, this is what you, you're going to look for a potential buys or potential reversal of the trend. Here, the first the first candle uh, pattern here is the dragonfly doji. It's one of my favorite to identify. Okay, this is the dragonfly doji. And you got the hammer. You got the bullish engulfing. This is also one of my favorites. It's easy to, to identify. It means that this candle is pretty much bigger than the whole red candle. It's engulfing candle. Then you got the piercing candle. Okay. You got the tweezer bottom. All right. I also like this one as well. You got the three white soldiers. And then you got the morning star. All right. It's also one of my favorites. I guess they're all my favorites. <laughs> all right. And on the right hand side, we got the cell candle. This is the gravestone doji. All right, and if you these, you're going to look for these at the top of your trend. So if any of these patterns, identify you identify them at the top of your trend, you're going to look for sells or for a reversal of the trend. You got the gravestone doji, shooting star. You got the bearish engulfing. They pretty much the same. They're just on the opposite side of the the trend okay then you got the dark cloud cover cover you got the tweezer top three block crows 
and the evening star. A lot of the evening star, morning star, you hear a lot of the uh, traders use um, a lot of these patterns or the dragon, the dragonfly doji and the hammer, uh, the engulfing. These are most the most used pattern that I personally have seen, okay? But if you identify all of these, it's amazing. Let's go to the next slide here. Just to kind of give you an idea how to actually look at them in the actual chart. The single ca candlestick patterns. Now, this is the inverse hammer, if you see it at the bottom of your trend, all right? And this is a shooting star if you see it at the top of your uh, trend, okay? So this you would be buying and this you would be selling, okay? This is the hammer. Hammer is at the bottom of your trend. You would be buying and hanging man is at the top of your trend, okay? Kind of these are very easy to identify, actually. Um, I love these patterns. It's really easy to identify on your chart. These are the double candlestick patterns, or in the trading, in the trading you would hear here, traders say the dual candlesticks, double. However, <laughs> you got the bullish engulfing. See that the the white candle is bigger than it. Pretty much, uh, I, I always use the it eats. The whole candle of the previous candle, so it's it's the my engulfing candle is bigger than the whole this bearish candle. Okay, this you would see this at the bottom of your chart, and here the bearish engulfing you would see this at the top of your chart. See, this candle is way bigger than my bullish candle. Okay, the three is the bottom. You're gonna see this at the bottom of your chart. Alright, you're going to see two candles, they look identical to each other, alright? And the tweezer top, same thing, you're going to see these at the top of your trend. They're identical, but one is a buy candle and one is a sell candle, okay? Now, let's go take a look at the triple candlestick patterns. you got the three white soldiers, you're going to see this at the bottom of your trend, alright? And this is good for you to guys to take a picture, screenshot it, whatever you gotta do, because these will help you um, through your trading. Uh, I use them a lot. I have a big um, pictures on my wall, so when I trade and I see these patterns, I can actually look at my my cheat sheet and I can identify these patterns. Now here on the right hand side, we got the three block crows. This is going to appear at the top of your trend, okay? And here at the bearish side, we have the morning star, my favorite. All right. This is going to appear at the bottom of your trend. All right. And the evening, evening star going to be at the top of your trend. All right. This is the sell and this is the buy. On, on the left hand side is buy and the right hand side is sell. All right. Let's go to the next slide. Use the candlestick with support and resistance. All right, so I wanted to kind of show you guys exactly how these work on the actual chart. Now, look at here, we got the hammer, right? We got the hammer with the long wick, right? Oh, you would think, oh, it's a buy, it's a buy. Oop, it stopped out, right? Well, if you see these in the middle of your chart, like this in the middle, because this is the top. Remember, I said use them at the top of your chart, at the bottom of your chart. What well, you see this in the middle of your trend, and this is looks like it's a downtrend. This is you're gonna see this quite a bit. It doesn't don't just jump in for a buy because a lot of the times when you see it in the middle of your trend, it's some type of um a pullback or it's it forms some type of pattern. So if you see these in the middle of your trend, say if it's forming a downtrend just like it is here and you see in the middle of your trend, don't jump in for a buy right away, okay? You want to see these just like it is right here at the top of your trend, okay? Because if you see in the middle of the trend, it could be a pullback 
or it's forming some type of pattern. You'll see it with like the M's and W's, double tops, double bottoms, or head and shoulders. You'll see these a lot in the middle of the trend. All right. So now look at here. You would think, oh, it's a, it's a sell, it's a sell. Well, same thing. Look what it did. It came back, and and it came back, and it, you and it respected this area. Now you, like I said earlier, you want to see these at the bottom or the top of your trend, okay? And also here another example. You say, oh, it's a doji. I'm gonna buy. Oh, it's a doji. Well, this is actual a trend. The trend already started. So this is more, you would see this on the pullback. Um, you see, uh, I talk about pullbacks all the time. Hey, when there's a pullback, you want to get in. Well, you will see these patterns on the pullbacks as well. All right. So you want to make sure that you see these patterns at the top or the bottom of your trend. Okay. So that's how you identify these patterns. And also these wicks, when you come to, this is our support now, right? So when you see these patterns at the top or the bottom of your either support or resistance, that's when is the accurate for you to use these patterns, okay? I hope this video has helped. I will see you guys in the next video.